Right on Amran with the final. Who comes out on top? Here we go. First round is underway. And also, this is a is a rematch. So beside a world title, there's also pregnant rights on the line. A little extra notch. Center of the ring. Change that. Kick back from Dalem. No goal. Moving around. Stay stationary target. That's a smart move. Trying to lure Dalem in. Good push kick again. Second time. Throw that technique. To work for her. Oh, to the clinch. Oh. Knee, just misses. And can immediately see the difference in approach by these two fighters. Down, keep in the middle of the ring, trying to put pressure, and Danyoko trying to move around. Hit and run. Uh, that's another sport, that's another. We will take those here tonight, please. And on the feet we are again. Just 10 seconds of the first round. Still a little bit of trying to figure each, each other out. And to wait, we'll try to fight. Here we go. Yeah. 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 Attempting the headlock, not allowed. Yeah. And gets one in return. Good arm, so we're all equal now. Footwork there from the other moves out of the way to make Smedala miss. Oh, a good kick again, off balance, but still to score. Like I said, Smedala, only 22 years of age, already the flyaway champion, eyeing a second world title here. That would be something, 22 years old, already a double champ. What an achievement that would be. But we're not there yet. By a long shot. Three and a half rounds still to go. As we are on the last minute of this second round. The optics are a little bit the same as in the first round. It's a Pedalum in the middle of the ring trying to move forward. Danyoko moving out of the way. And trying to catch Nalem on the counter or on the outside. There's a push kick in from Nalem. A couple of those already. As we move into the last 15 seconds of the second round. A little bit scrappy so far. Not too many clean punches. There's a good combination by Van Dalen. And a good kick on the break. The to conclude this second round. Round number three. And now closer to the belt. To the decision. Aggressive start by Van Dalen. It's smarter than the clinch. But push kick again. Now make him pay to say in boxing or kickboxing. Oh, he lost that. He was on the way down. No harm, no foul, says the referee. We continue. 
Just took a shot. Good combination, finish with the high kick. Half on the guard, but still, good combo. Followed with the low kick. This is better now by Van Dalen. Like she cut up the corners a little bit more to prevent Danyoko from moving around. There's a good forward movement from Danyoko. Sends Van Dalen now briefly. Overhand there by John Yoko, who's seemingly being a little bit more flying forward in this third round. Moving forward more, trying to put a bit more pressure on uh, Kondal. Leading to uh, some more exchanges now in this third round. the final seconds of this third round still everything in the balance as we move into the championship rounds round number four is upon us here we go and immediately again Yoko tries to close the gap so that apparently was part of the strategy for the first couple of rounds on the outside move inside later in the fight see what that brings her and see how Van Dalen uh, adapts to that strategy. Push kick again by Van Dalen. Good combination there, Leonard, with the finish with the high kick by from Dahlem, that did touch the neck, not powerful enough though, but it was a good shot. And both ladies opening up a little bit more now. Oh, good inside knee, just misses target. of it for now seems to be a little bit more the fresher fighter still in his fourth round she's definitely the younger by eight years the junior of uh, John Yoko not that that should mean anything in this round but it is significant ladies have the same height 168 centimeters both so no real advantage of anyone as we move into the final seconds. It is four rounds of the title fight. Good push kick again. It all comes down to this last round. Who has the most in the tank? Who wants it the most? women start aggressive and again with the high kick I like the little punch high kick combinations you've thrown that a couple of times already at some point it's going to hit the mark forward. that was off balance no knockdown low kick bounces off the ropes WWE Last minute of this fight is approaching. Last minute of this world title fight. One more minute to determine who will be the next champion. Who has the most left in the tank? Who takes control of this last seconds of this fight? Good punch there by Van Dalen. She pushes and again with the front kick. Had some good success with that throughout the fight. 
starting in the first round. So Lennon leaves one in every round, this, I think. I'm not sure if we're correct. Two seconds on the way. Here we can't Yoko coming forward. Finish strong. You want to leave a good impression with the judges. Who has the last word? Oh, then again with the high kick, just had to glove up. Just in time, Dan Yoko, to prevent further damage. And if body language tells you anything, Nina Van Dalem is the new Bantamweight world champion. But uh, body language doesn't decide fight, the judges do. So we we'll just have to wait until points get collected. see if she is right about her feeling but honestly I think she might be right we've counted the points and we have a winner and the infusion bantamweight champion of the world is the young lady in the red corner Nina